friends today we are going to discuss mechanical properties of solids which is one of the most important topic in physics for mcet examination mechanical properties of solids is also known as mechanical properties of material which deals with the behavior of deformable solids when they are subjected to stress and strain have you ever wondered how bridges can withstand such an heavy loads of vehicles how the forces are calculated for those bridges they use mechanical properties of solids before starting a topic we should know some basic definitions like what is strength what is stiffness and what is the difference between these two and what is stress and what is strain and what is the difference between these two what is normal force and what is shear force and what is the difference between these two what is poisson's ratio and what is hooke's law and what is the difference between those two and what is young's modulus what is rigid modulus what is bulk modulus let us start with the differences between stiffness and strength for easy understanding let us consider a spring mass system now i am going to add 1 kg of mass to this spring mass system there is no deflection in this spring mass system it means that it has a ability to resist the deformation this property of the material that is spring is known as stiffness now i am going to add one more kg mass to this spring mass system it start deflecting this property of material to deform without plastic deformation or failure is known as strength now let us move on to the board to discuss further topics we will be starting with stress strain types of strains elasticity moduli that is young's modulus rigid modulus and bulk modulus what is hooke's law what is poisson's ratio and the most important stress strain curve to understand what actually stress is we have to consider a rectangular block now i am applying load on both sides say f now stress is equals to the resisting force if you apply force f here this block will try to resist this force with the same value that is f so stress is resisting force for the unit area you have to consider this area not this one this that is area which is equals to f upon this is what stress stands for f is normal to the plane of the block so this stress is called as normal stress now what is shear stress to understand what actually shear stress is you have to consider a block i am applying a force f which is tangential to the plane of this block the stress produced in this block is known as shear stress and the formula is same as normal remember stress is denoted by sigma and force f or p area is a 
and units for this one is for force this is newton and for area that is mm square now let us discuss what actually strain is strain to understand strain let us consider the same block which we have considered for stress that is block a rectangular block whose length is l and side is a now i'm applying force f on both sides with this force if this block elongates to certain distance this elongated distance let it be delta l now strain is change in length per original length that is strain which is denoted by small e which is equals to what is change in length delta l upon original length so this is what actually strain is so share with your friends and have a good day thank you